heavily to fans as a dust guard I'm here to talk about, well, wrestling, but about the game, video games, about wrestling. Um, I've talked about it before on this channel, but I've been playing this game a lot. And as you can see, I've been smoking <laughs> weed, so it's just up there. But anyways, I've been playing this game a lot. And yes, I changed the cover the way it looks like. John Cena looks like the Scar Clown now, and Big Show's fist is pumping up like a superhero. And you see The Miz singing Awesome, and it says Awesome right here. I don't know if you can see that right here. Awesome. Uh, just wanted to draw it and shit, so why not? So, in this game... I've actually been making my own storyline. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I actually want to do a Let's Play of this game, but something new. You know how I used to do Let's Plays um, well, on my other channel, um, the Twisted Score Movies and Games channel, um, that I do Lame Man videos and all that, and other videos too. But um, I was going to do a Let's Play of this game, but I didn't know which part I should play. Um, or should I play all of them? Or should I just make my own story and then play it? And I thought of like, maybe I should just do that instead. Make my own story and then um, play it. Just have a let's play it, you know? And um, it won't. It probably won't be all that long. But um, basically, uh, from, what the paper, from what I made from the pay-per-views and all that. Well, from the shows into the pay-per-view. It's just all raw. Because I'm not putting no Super Show Smackdown. So, I'm not putting that um, do with my story. I'll just put Raw in my story. And it started in Extreme Rules. And it ends at SummerSlam. But, to be honest, I'm actually thinking pushing it more up to probably to WrestleMania. Or maybe the Royal Rumble. Um... But if I'm at the Royal Rumble, might as well go all out and just go to WrestleMania, you know. Um, but I was going to end it somewhere in the big main events of the story. But so far, from the, for what I'm making the story, it's, to be honest, it's picking up. <laughs> but I'm not done with it yet. So I'm still thinking about should it end at SummerSlam or should it end at WrestleMania? You know, you, you guys should be the judge. Should When I make my story, should I end at SummerSlam or at WrestleMania? Because I will want, would like to do a Let's Play of it, you know, just to for, for the hell of it. So, the reason I am talking about the wrestling games, not just by talking about how great this game is, and it is good if you haven't played it. Um, I just want to give my thoughts on what, in my opinions, on what should the next WWE game or any wrestling game should have um, because I made a book uh, writing down all the stuff that I would like to have because you know how I say I want to be a video game designer and all that well I took the rest I took my video game aspect of what I wanted to make for my video game and I told myself why I can't let this be a wrestling game it could still be my like Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest slash Kingdom Hearts type of game feel. But imagine if you take Dragon Quest in a normal wrestling game, like SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, right? And you put them together. What do you get? You get an RPG wrestling experience, basically. I, I basically named it here, too. I, it's funny, too, because it sounds familiar, so I don't know if it's a real name. It, it um I call it RPG Open Water Wrestling. That's what it's called. Um, so, so it, it's, it plays like wrestling and everything like that, but the story is literally like a Dragon Quest game, <laughs> you know? So, um, which that, that, that is the two comp combinations that I started thinking of. And I was just like, you know what? That's cool. And then you get these main characters that you can pick, obviously, but you don't have to pick the main characters for the main story. Because the story is still you, basically. And you know how in WWE games you can pick the voice um, for your character and everything like that? You could do that in this game. The, the one that I'm describing and everything like that. Um, the game that I would like to have as a wrestling game. Or some of the parts of what I want to put in my video game, basically. I'm just pointing stuff out. 
and yeah, I made like minions, I made bosses and everything like that, but I'm not going to show you here because that's just my ideas. But um, other ideas I will tell you is that, um, yes, when you, you, once you, let's see, hold on, when you go to the main menu, the main menu will have the main story, create a superstar, which is a hero, um, make party members, um, which means um, you have your own creators um, in storyline and play as party members. And create an arena, a stage, and titles. Obviously because it's a wrestling game. Um, I did not put creative moves, but that, that's, that's, just, that's probably a given of being in these types of um, wrestling games now. But um, I should I should have wrote it down. Another one is, um, you know those t those 2K towers that they make? And kind of like what they do in um, Mortal Kombat, you know, those towers things. Well, I have that here too, but it's called Sky Tower. It's probably been used before, but I named it Sky Tower. Um, it just makes sense to me. Um, create your own story, which you could do in this game. So I was just like, I was just thinking the great RPG experience. You know, you have your main story. You can make your titles. You can make an arena. You can make wrestlers. And you can also make your own storyline, you know. So, um, and yes, there is a vote versus mode. Why wouldn't they be? Have you ever, ever played an RPG game that had a versus mode besides the Cydia? <laughs> you know? Um, and I'm talking about the PSP version. It's not that fucking piece of crap PS4 version. Um, mini games, obviously. You, it's an RPG. You gotta have some mini games. Um, I was gonna put side quests, but the side quests should be in the main story anyways. So, um, options to change the AI, sound, and color. Um, abilities, because um, the, you know you know how um. This game works that shows you abilities and also um, in other um, 2K games also. Um, it, I'll put that here. Um, which is kind of unique. That, that's one of the good things that I liked about the, the 2K series. They have these abilities that you can put on your superstar. And they can do different things. You know, each superstar will be different. Which I like. It's the same thing with this game too. Each superstar will be different. Mostly all the wrestling games are like that, yes. But once you take an ability, basically, kind of like what they did in SmackDown Raw 2008, which a lot of people are not a big fan of, but they took that concept and put and made it better in 2011, in my opinion, um, because you can still make um, your high-flying wrestler into a hardcore wrestler if you wanted to, which I liked. In SmackDown Raw versus Raw 2008, you have like at least two options, high-flyer or hardcore or high-flyer, and you only have two options, like a... Uh, like, uh, um, like a a guy that is technical or a guy that is good at you know getting pumped up you know um, stuff like that abilities like that and another one is a 16-bit mode I this got the inspiration from Dragon Quest 11 when you can go to 16-bit mode and all that that would be cool imagine that imagine you get a free roaming 3d Freaking wrestling game that's like a Dragon Quest game, but also more of a wrestling game. And then all of a sudden, you can switch into 16 bit, and it won't be something that you see in the 2K series that is just a font thing and it and it just turns to bits. No, 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 it's literally 16 bit, you know. Um, I was thinking to have that option though of like having the screen just become bits basically instead of really, really 16 bit, but. I might think about having the option of like, yes, you could do that or you could just do this. You know, some people might not like that other choice just to stay, hey, if you're going to make 16-bit, make 16-bit. Don't make it 3D and then 16-bit. <laughs> but huh, um, to each its own, I guess. Um, the option is there. That, that's why. That's why I love about RPGs and wrestling games in general. The option is there. That's the thing. A lot of people think wrestling games are not RPGs. They are. They're action RPGs. They'll, in a way, beat them up or wrestling RPGs. I call it that. But the reason these wrestling games are better than, like, Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, and Kingdom Hearts. I love those games. Don't get me wrong. I will always love Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, and Dragon Quest. Always, always, always. But if you're going to tell me what's the best RPG of all time, I'm going to say that it's the wrestling games. I'm sorry. 
Why? Because you can make your own character and you can be in your own storyline. How many RPGs, instead of MMOs, that you can make your own character and put yourself in a story and live in that story? That's what I loved about these wrestling games, man. You know? It's not like Dragon Quest that you have a silent protagonist. I, I mean, look, some people hate the si silent protagonist. Me, I, I don't I don't care. I really don't. Some people think it's outdated. Me, I don't care. I love it. That's why they still... The reason they still have a silent protagonist is because they still want you to be that character. If that character starts talking, sorry, that breaks the illusion of you being that character. That's how it is. And most people are like, yeah, but I still want that character to talk. Okay, fine. That's why these wrestling games do that. You see? And you still feel like you are that character. You know? That's the best part about SmackDown vs. Raw series, man. This is the last SmackDown vs. Raw game. And I, I'll say this. I did not appreciate this game when I was a kid. Now that I look back at it, I was just like, why didn't I appreciate this game more? Now I appreciate it now, but... Yo. Like, I... At one point, I smacked this game just for WWE 13. I, I, I'm not a big fan of 12. I like 12 from some of the stuff, WWE 12, but it just pisses me off sometimes. But I'd rather play 11, 13, and then that's it. And other, obviously, SmackDown vs. Raw series and SmackDown series, like Shut Your Mouth, Here Comes the Pain, and all that. And obviously, No Mercy, duh. You know, um, all those good wrestling games, obviously. But, um... I just took some of the aspects of a lot of good wrestling games and just put it, like, what if you put it into one, you know? Or also, what if you just make another video game that looks at RPGs and looks at wrestling games and, like, put them together, you know? And that's what I did with this book. Um, with this paper here, this is stuff that I would like to have in the wrestling games. Um, so here it is. Um, custom superstars and gameplay slash arena. Um, let's see. Um, make it make it feel arcade or balance. Um, yeah, make it feel okay archaic, archaic or balance. Um, have a locker room. Please have a locker room. That was the best part about SmackDown vs. Raw series, man. Having your own locker room and customating it, man. It was your own locker room. Your own locker room. You think the 2K series does that? No, they don't. I don't have my own locker room in the 2K series. Hell, I don't have my own locker room in this game. But you know what? I don't give a damn. Because there's so many content in the game that you just don't give a fuck. In the 2K games, there's content, but you still not going to go out of your way to play it because the game doesn't encourage you to, hey, you should play it. It's just It just looks like an ad on a fucking screen of like, you could do this, but you don't have to. And it's like, I'm just going to play an exp expedition match. I'm sorry. So, um, have all match types for real, man. Like, literally have all match types. Bay Alive, Inferno Match, Ambulance Match, TLC, Regular Match, Hardcore Match, Extreme Rules Match, Bob Wire Match. I don't give a fuck, man. Like, have all types of matches. Come on. Why is that so hard now? I can understand maybe the PS2 or PS3 era a little bit, but still, I... I for crying out loud, doing the PS3 and 2, we got a whole bunch of fucking shit, even on the PS1. So what's the excuse? There's no excuse. There isn't. There's no excuse. Have all match types, man. For real. Have all WWE superstars from past, present, and future. Most people be like, I don't think that's possible. You can make it work. You can make it work. Alright? You can make it work. For crying out loud, in old WWE games... When they didn't had a character there, you know what you did? You went to the create the create the creative superstar and you look at the the things that they created and some of them were the um were former superstars like Chris Benoit or Eddie Guerrero. They look at them and you'd be like click 
You can create them. Or you don't even have to change their face. Just put the suit on and everything. Do that. That's all you have to do. We won't be pissed off if you made a bootleg look flair if he wasn't in the game. You just made a, you know, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. Some people will, which I would have been like, what, you too lazy to make a, to make a wrestler that is not in the game? It's almost like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin is not in the game. Well, you can't make a guy that's bald, that looks like Austin, that dresses up as Austin and give him the moves like Austin? It's not Austin. It's not the same. But you, yeah, you're going to make Incredible Hawk, Chucky, Michael Myers, Jason. <laughs> but, um, bring back, star, uh, bring back story, um, mode for WWE super, um, Superstars. Like, Here Comes the Pain and SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 and 7. Yeah. That, that is actually the biggest thing for me. F for these wrestling games, man. Like, the story mode with Here Comes the Pain and SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 and 7 are perfect. They're perfect. Some people might, might want to talk about No Mercy. That's fine. Because you could branch and all that and that's fine. Um, which I still want that, put that there too, but the way Here Comes the Pain did it, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 and 6 did it, I was just like, once you have a standard, why will you change it? <laughs> but whatever, right? Whatever, whatever. Have mini games like SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Now, if you haven't played the PSP version of SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, to me, the PSP version of SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 is the definitive version of this game. Why? It's because you could take it on the go, obviously, and plus they throw in some minigames. Because, you know, the graphics are a little bit great or downgraded, obviously, and there's no um, commentary, you know? But I didn't care. I, I, the graphics still look pretty good for a PSP. And I didn't mind it. I didn't mind that it didn't have the commentary and all that. And the soundtrack was fucking amazing. And it was just an all around good, good, good fucking game, man. It's just... Like, when you compare it to SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 and SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 and the now games now, it's just like, damn, man. It's kind of loud. I can't even make my own... My own pose anymore, man. <laughs> like you know how you know you know you know how you used to do that in old wrestling games, make your own pose and you got your own your character was still unique from every other WWE superstar that did a pose. I miss that shit, man. I missed it. I really do. Um, use an older engine. Yeah, use an old engine. What engine you should use? To be honest, I'm looking at it right now. The SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. I could say use any other engine, but to be honest, the SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 engine, what was the point of you changing it? It, it? It's perfect. It's perfect. Yes, Here Comes the Pain is perfect too, and so is SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 and 7, but 2011 for me, for me, it's exactly what a it's exactly what a game should be. A wrestling game should be. It's it's slow, yes. But it's also fast paced. If you really think about it. And the matches don't really last that long either. In SmackDown Raw 2011. You can beat your fucking character up. Do your finisher. And one, two, three, go. You, you win. That reminds me of the old wrestling games. Especially when you play. F freaking. <laughs> oh, what is it? Um, last man standing, and the ref is like, one, two, three, four, five, and you're like, whoa, 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 six, ten, ding, 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 that, yo, that caught me off guard so many times, I'm just like, you're counting so fast that once I start pressing the button, you caught me off guard, and once I start pressing buttons, it's, you're already up to seven, <laughs> yo, man, I, I couldn't play that, I, I couldn't, just let you guys know, I can't play that shit, that, that, that killed me. Um, have branch star stories, which 
Yeah, I put here. I thought I didn't, but I did. Have branching stories, man. For real. Have branching stories. Like, if I, if I made my custom character, and I beat up Triple H, you know? And then I, and I'm still having a story mode with Undertaker or Shawn Michaels or something like that. And I'm going after him. And and I win the title. And then all of a sudden I forgot about Triple H. I want Triple H to come after me and, and beat my ass and be like, oh, you... Oh you, uh, oh, you beat me up now? Now, me and Sean are going to team up and be DX and beat you. And whoever wins gets the title. You know? It's stuff like that. Like, mix it up a bit. You know? That'd be great. Uh, it's just an example. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Well, I think that's it. Really it. Um... Uh, hold on, guys. I'm just trying to think here. Yeah, I think that's it. Because I, this is mostly the same thing that I have here. So that's really it, guys. Um, tell me what you guys think. What would you like to put in these in in a new wrestling game, or if you want to take like a Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest in a wrestling game and squish it all together and make something like brand new, which again I did in this book. Um, which the story that I'm making in this game. I kind of did that, <laughs> but, um, it's with WWE superstars, not all of them, but some creation, creative superstars, but mostly WWE superstars, which is 